welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. This is Orphan Annie. And as you can see... Oh, yep, that's my cue. Yep. Oh. RJ's back! I mean, wait, just to turn around the boy so I can't be Annie. Oh, no. I thought it was a girl. <sighs> Do we need to be that class? No, but... I had... Okay. I just called it Little Orphan Annie. Then RJ came in and informed me it was a boy. All right, so. Call it Obi. I need somebody who's an orphan, a boy orphan. How about if I call him Rin Tin Tin? No. Why not? Hmm. What was the name of Annie's dog? All right. Lassie. <laughs> no, that wasn't Annie's dog. Uh. Okay, so. Mutt. Yeah. That's not what we're calling him. Um, let's get started within the chapel. Oh, by the way, I'm Christy, and this is... Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> He's hungry today. It's late, and we've had a lot going on. All right, let's start with in the chapel. You remember our... Palms, 82-3. Defend the meek and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed so we are taking this little guy on and it is what it is right so um in the barn stalls rj one point got us a goat here what did this okay so it's one of two goats that had it we think it's one that shouldn't have been bred huh right She's just young. We don't normally breed them that young. I didn't think she was bred, but she's the only one that has a milk bag right now, correct? Yep. And this little guy was found upside down in the feeder. And so her ears, it has ears, okay? So, but the thing that's confusing it, oh, are you flipping your head away from me? Just like a man. Um, the thing that is confusing me, number one, he, he's cold. So we've got a hen set up over there in the middle of the kitchen, and we've got a heater on him. I had the light on him, but he got too hot. Um, but, RJ, when Layton bred with Matthew last year, what color were her babies? Right. What color is Layton? Black. What color is the little goat that we think fought, mothered this thing? White. What color is Matthew, the father? White. What's dominant in goats? White. I don't know that it's Leighton's. Leighton doesn't have a bag. She's not acting right, though. Um, Leighton is also La Macha. But with Matthew, he's not La Macha. So last year, she had one with no ears. But Holly had one with and one without, and she was La Mancha too. So, this little guy is just confusing my little orphan Annie. Mm -hmm. We put a little goat that has a bag up there. Uh, Lois is her name. Uh, but we put her up there, and he drank, seemed to drink everything that she had, correct? Mm -hmm. Why are you drifting off to... I'm trying to think of a good name. Oh, okay. So. I gotta get in the zone. All right. So, who else had babies? Carrie, right? And she looks horrible. How come? Somebody forgot to raise the lights up. Yeah, she burnt her fleece. She has a tendency to do that. She loves the light, and she just goes right under it and sits there, and it singes her fleece. It doesn't get down to her skin or anything like that. She just burns her fleece, and fleece doesn't catch fire, thank God. It just smolders. It just smolders, and so she's got black burn marks down her fleece. She'll be one of the first ones sheared, and it'll have to go around the trees, won't it? Yep. So what's Gordy's new stunt? Oh, he likes to break down fences. Mm-hmm. Who's Gordy? Our big steer. Yep, the big steer. The one with the gimp. So... Old leg. Mm-hmm. The gimpy leg. Yep. Alright. Who else has had babies? We had another cutie have babies, right? Yeah. I'm a 
many sheep we got left? Have babies? Mm hmm. Two? Yep. And then Layton, if she it isn't this one's mom, we have her to go, but she's not acting right. It's a really weird year for goats, is it not? Yeah. Nothing's gone like what we thought. So. It is what it is. Sometimes you have those weird years and sometimes you don't. So, um, it's been super wet. So yeah. that, huh? And warmer than normal. And well, Yeah, and warmer than normal and it's just played havoc with everything. The weather plays a big part in farming and in a big part in, you know, the animals' lives. So, Better than him sitting over there yelling, huh? Mm -hmm. I think he gets cold or lonely. I'm not sure. He's less than 24 hours old, so. Um, okay, what else in the barn stalls? You got outside horses in to ride. You got three you have to ride for mm -hmm. other people. <coughs> How's that going for you? Oh, pretty oh, good. Oh, my little cough woke him up. I'm sorry, baby. Don't get in the coronavirus now. <laughs> Okay, so, um, how's it going? Sorry. Pretty good. What's that mean? Uh, They're ri riding great. You didn't almost get bucked off today. Uh, two of them are. One of them just likes to buck. <laughs> He's just opportunistic about it. He just decides, whoops, hey, this is a good time to buck. I'll start bucking. <laughs> That's why he's here. See if we can fix him. Okay. Um, anything else going on? Not really. No. Nope. Yeah. Oh, I've been done. Yeah. <coughs> why aren't you at a rodeo right now? You yeah, didn't go anywhere this canceled. weekend? Yeah, Everything's canceled, canceled thanks to Corona, which we definitely want to play it safe, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um,. I guess we'll move on to mending fences. Have you tore anything up yesterday? Anything lately? Tractor. Gordy does. What's up with Gordy? He broke down that fence to the garden. Yeah. Fence to the garden. So All I broke right. The tractor. He broke the tractor. What's the tractor? What are you gotta do Needs for the a new starter. So, um. I fix the washer and dryer. Yeah, fix the washer and dryer. With light switches. It's just the latches, and the order in the latches is going to take me days. And he went to Lowe's, found a couple of light switches, fixed it, and went on. So, we're good with that, right? Yep. All I right. shocked about a half a dozen times when <laughs> I wash her up. <laughs> Lesson learned. Unplug it before you but work on I it. I couldn't figure out which wires went where. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would go two wires and two wires, you know, that's what I thought. <laughs> but that didn't work, so I had to leave it on and I had to put three wires and one wire. So, I got shocked at least half a dozen times. She doesn't have any nubbies. He. She. He. I'll will them away, dang it. Oh, yeah. Just Dang it, gender, I'm you. gender, uh, transgender goat. Yeah, that really is no, no, I didn't see any. There's no knockers down there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Little goat goat. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Oh, it's getting tired. And you might not weigh much. We gotta go out and get the scale and weigh him. Because that's our first clue that something's going wrong, huh? Mm -hmm. So, RJ will go out and get the, the net and the, say net, what is it? A, a little sling. Yeah. A sling, yeah. Harness, halter, well, harness, harness, sling, whatever. And a fishing scale. It's the best yeah. thing we found. We ought to make a video about that. All right, so, mending fences, a lot of little things going on, but nothing that the parts ordered for the tractor. It'll be in Tuesday, you said, right? So I'll have a operating tractor, and it's just a starter one out. It's an older tractor we didn't buy brand new, um, knowing that we'd have to put a little money into it. It's fine. Um, what's next up in the yarn farm? What do we got? We have 
Um, we are taking small groups by appointment only. If you exceed 10 with RJ and I here, you don't get to come. So we've got a small group coming tomorrow, correct? Yep. So um, it is what it is. We can't chance him getting sick, and he already has health issues that he's grown up with all his life. <coughs> and my sinuses, my allergies are killing me. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. RJ, you want to hold her? <laughs> She's cold. She was he. found outside. He. She. He. She. And so that's why she's snuggling up. The light gets her too hot on one side. I've got to go, and our floor is concrete, for those of you who don't know, and I've got to make a mat out of the two blankets that we have down there so that she'll have a good cushion between that and the um, concrete. So, all right. Anything else going on in the yarn farm? Quit snoring. I thought you were hungry, not sleepy. Well, I ate See, and you're waking her up. You're waking her up. Look at, show them there, her eyes. Her, she is just the cutest darn thing. Yes. Got bubbles. What you got bubbles for, huh? Nose is cold. The inside of his mouth cold. Probably. Yep. We need to get some stuff down him. So, all right. Um. Come back getting warmed up he will be uh all right anything else going on in the yarn farm i don't know where these go okay come on i don't know where these go I don't know either. it's late so it's 10 30 if we want to get this done and processing up on youtube let's get through it and get done okay. um what comes next after in the yarn farm in I the fields been here in a month so i wouldn't know in the fields um no garden going in at this time. The door keeps getting in there. Yep. I got to get it secure. I just got to take some more screws and screw them through. And, but you have to drill holes to do it. So, because those, it's partly pallets and that. Um, anything else going on in there? She's trying to stand up. That's what that head is. You need to go put her on her blanket and let her stand up. Sure. Um, make yeah. sure you put her in front of the. I just keep saying her. Yeah. Her. Yeah. I didn't see no bag. Um. Anyway. to see her. That's a little heater right there and then we have the light up above. Ooh, hopefully you don't get too dizzy. Alright. Um. Uh. What else? What's the matter? Oh, she just flopped over. Yeah. It. Well, the blankets have to be straightened out. She gets stuck in the wrinkles. So. Sorry, I'm watching him. He's he's got her over there, laying down. Is she in front of the heater. Yep. Okay. He. He. Um. All right. In the farmhouse. So I've been working a lot. Um. I now pull a 49-hour week every week. Um. I've quit with the hundred and. 100 hour weeks and the 70 hour weeks and the 60 hour week. I'm just pulling my regular 50 hour week now, right? So that's a good thing. Oh, she's trying to stand up. I don't think she's very old, but she's cold. He. But, all right, son, what else have you been doing? Have you been working much this week? Just hit and miss. Nope. You went to a couple of jackpots. <gasps> She just rolled over on her nose. Go straighten her out, please. No, I didn't go anywhere this week, Mom. Last week. Hang on, he's getting her. She's... Moose! When she fell over, she flipped her head and then couldn't get her head back up. So, here in a minute, we'll just put her sitting down. 
yeah, just let her be, and then we'll I'll fix the blankets here in a minute. It's that's what she's tripping over. That it's not level. Yeah. So anyway, but while I'm at work, I've noticed that in the area where I work, there are a few older people that I've spied, and I've noticed their cars haven't moved, and I like to go out and just stand outside when the person that I serve is taking a little nap. I like to get out and just get some fresh air. I'm there for two solid days, 48 hours, and the only time I get out of that house is when I step outside the door. So, <coughs> um, I've noticed one, and when she waves at me from the post from the mailbox when the mailman comes we both step out get our mail and wave and the other one is across the street and one house down and she has grandbabies and the grandbabies came um and she had a mask over her face she's sitting in a chair in her yard and they're in the car in the road and of course none of them got out of the car but they're yelling and yakking and laughing and carrying on so i know she has family that cares about her that just can't get there what baby and so what I decided was I've got all this yarn and I'm not even sure what made me decide but I decided that during COVID-19 and I went and got these big bags so that they can be sealed up um, when you deliver something for COVID-19 you want to let it sit for 24 hours so I will put a note on this and not have them open this for 24 hours but I made each of those ladies and I'm still working on the second one the first one is this and it's a prayer shawl it's it's big isn't it so it's so I made this one is that too fast no okay so it's pink peach yellow greens right yep and then RJ, can you? I'm not gonna help you fold that up very well. I know, but can you show the other one then? Sure. Don't lose the hook because it's in the next one. Yeah, he's not gonna do it now because mm -mm. I said don't lose the hook. All right, then open that bag. But anyway, I'm gonna put my name and come on, don't do I'm gonna put my name and who I am and then just ask that you know since we all can't get out and do much that maybe they can wrap themselves in a little bit of love and say a prayer for everybody that, that needs it, healthcare workers or whatever. Um, and so I haven't decided the note yet, but okay, so this one I'm still working on and I've done these in what? I think that one took me three days and this one took me three days. Actually, I don't think, I hadn't started this one didn't start Thursday, this one till so Friday, Friday, Saturday, today's Sunday, and I'm almost done. So Friday night, I'm yeah, this. or Friday, Friday. I don't remember. Anyway, so um, yeah, I did this one, and it's not done yet. It'll have a few more rows on it. Uh oh. Let's do it my mac juice. I gotta find my. Thing. I made a big old loop. You said don't lose the hook, and then there you go when you lose your hook. No, I didn't lose the hook. It was sitting over here. I just made a big old loop so that it wouldn't. But I'm also using um, yarn that Granny left me. That you know, some of them were a lot of browns and a lot of one color or the other, and I wasn't sure how I would. Um, use them up hadn't really found anything that I wanted to do she when she bought she had a pattern in mind and so um, I had three skeins of this tan and three skeins of this brown and then I had like a skein of this it, it's a pink and so I just decided to rotate it the green on this was mine and left over from another project the pink was mine and left over from another project but the peach and the yellow was grandma's so I think that granny would be happy knowing that her stuff is going to make her shawls and this one too will be put with a note inside a big two gallon ziploc bag and tell them to leave it closed for 24 hours just to make sure it's not contaminated with anything um and then all i ask is that they pray for 
you know, the country, the world, really, and it's theirs to keep. Um, and then I'm going to also put a note in there. If they need something, if they know of someone who would want one, then I could drop off outside their door. If they'll give me a name and an address, um, I'll make sure that they get one. I have nothing else to do, right, yeah. but crochet. So um, I haven't found a way to take my spinning with me um, because of the massive amounts of spinning that I do. I need whole bobbins full, so I tend to use my favorite wheel to use is my walking wheel, but that's not going anywhere. And my traveling wheel, um, there's too many moving parts, and Krista might not understand it, so she could actually get hurt. So I don't want her sticking her hand in there while I'm spinning or whatever. So crochet it is, right? Mm -hmm. And if prayer shawls is my little way of blessing our little corner of the world there, right down her street, then that's fine. You know, and I did see there's another lady. She's got some kids, and I might do one for her, just depending on, you know, you gotta find out where the ladies are that um, do it. So I might do two more in that area. But I'm just gonna put them outside and drop them off. So I'll probably actually hand them to them, you know. So. But anyway, that's about all I'm working on. Oh, she's up again. We better get off here and uh, go fix her. Yeah, she's stumbling over the things, and that towel isn't thick enough, so. All right, we're going to get off here and go fix Orphan Annie a flat, warm spot, right? Yep. She got her head through the fence now. So, try and get her to eat a little bit, yep. get a little warmth in her. So, if we can get that mouth, if we can get her warmed up, get her mouth warmed up, get her sucking, we're good. Right? Yep. All right, you guys stay safe out there. Um, I know some of us have to be out in it. Do what you got to do and then get home. We definitely, RJ's supposed to stay at home. Um, we definitely encourage others to stay home. So, see, she says stay home. <laughs> RJ's like, mm-hmm. You need a haircut again, don't you? <laughs> See? She agrees with that, too. <laughs> All right, we're off of here from Orphan Annie Moose. Uh, Randall, RJ, and I, we say stay safe and adios. See ya.